Pilots of GA piston singles don't typically fly standard terminal arrivals, and usually ATC vectors us to join approaches that don't require many step-downs as we intercept the final approach course. Instead, we tend to use the VNAV features in our avionics to manage the descent from cruise to an initial altitude for an approach, or to help us arrive near an airport at the appropriate traffic pattern altitude. But when connected to a GPS navigator, such as a Garmin GTN 750 or 650 that supports vertical navigation, new digital autopilots like the Garmin GFC 500 and GFC 600 can automatically descend as you fly the initial legs of an instrument approach, reducing your workload and helping you spend more time monitoring your progress. To see VNAV fly a series of published step-downs, Join me as I fly the RNAV GPS Runway 29 approach at the Skagit Regional Airport north of Seattle, an approach that shows the value of using VNAV. I'm in my Beechcraft A36, equipped with the GFC 600 Autopilot, the GTN 750XI, and G500TXI. If you join this approach at Barkle, north of the Payne VOR, you could start as high as 5,000 feet, step down to cross Kirik at or above 4,300, continue descending to 3,500 at Ingle, and then cross Opixie, the final approach fix, at 3,000, where you can intercept and track LPV vertical guidance to the DA of 377 feet. The basic procedure for using VNAV with a GFC 500 or GFC 600 during an approach is straightforward. When you are established on a published segment of the procedure, at least 75 feet above the final approach fix crossing altitude, and cleared for the approach, Confirm that the autopilot is on and in the correct lateral mode, heading or nav. Set the altitude bug to match the altitude at the final approach fix. The autopilot won't start descending to the published segment altitudes until you reach the top of descent that it calculates so that you cross each fix at the appropriate altitude. Confirm that the altitude bug is set correctly, set power and configuration for that phase of the approach, and select VNAV on the autopilot control unit. As you fly toward the calculated top of descent, a magenta caret appears on the vertical deviation scale on the PFD, and when it centers, the autopilot captures the VNAV profile and tracks the guidance much as it would a glide path or glide slope. If you fly with a GFC 500, you must manually select approach mode when you intercept the glide path or glide slope. If you have a GFC 600, you can arm approach mode when you set VNAV, and that autopilot automatically switches to capture the glide path glide slope when the glide path glide slope diamond centers near the final approach fix. You may want to adjust the default minus 3 degree VNAV descent angle on a GTN to minus 2.5 or minus 2.0 degrees to help you manage speed when using VNAV. For example, in my A36, the default 3 degree descent angle results in an indicated airspeed near the limit for extending approach flaps and landing gear unless I reduce power well below the typical 17 to 18 inches of manifold pressure, making it harder to be established in the groove at the final approach fix. Now ride along as I fly this RNAV approach under VFR. We'd be approach Bonanza 1546 Foxtrot's about two and a half miles northeast of Arlington. Bonanza 1546 would be approach aerial altimeter 3055. It's Bonanza 1546 Foxtrot. We'd like to do a BFR approach uh, RNAV 29 at uh, Skagit Bayview, full stop, and we have the one minute weather. Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, Squawk 0465. 0465, 46 Foxtrot. Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, radar contact 5 miles north Arlington Airport, 4500. That checks 46 Foxtrot. We're direct here right now. Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, VFR practice approach is approved. No separation services will be provided. Maintain VFR. VFR, we'll go for six o'clock. Okay, we're heading directly to Korak, where Akirak, one of the initial fixes. We're level 4,500, just set 3,000 
in the uh, box so we can activate the VNAV feature. So we'll cross Kirik uh, at or above 4,300 and then we'll continue on down. The next leg is uh, 3,500 to uh, Ingle and then down to 3,000 at the final approach fix of Pixie. Once we get a little closer in, we'll also activate the um, approach mode, which we can do on the GFC 600. Go ahead and get the airplane set up now. We're getting close to our VNAV profile, so bring the power back a little bit. There's our vertical track enunciation. We're on the right tank now. Lights are all where we want them. We don't need any anti-ice today. And all we have left is uh, mixture flaps here for the approach. We've set the RV3 Romeo Victor traffic three o'clock five miles westbound altitude indicates two thousand seven hundred. We're about a minute from Kirik. Starting down here shortly to cross that at uh, about four thousand three hundred, and then on down as we. Uh, dog leg to join the final approach course. It's an all our nav approach, so we don't have to change nav sources. We'll fly it in our standard configuration once we get closer in. That's about 17 inches of manifold pressure, 2,500 RPM. Approach flaps, then gear down at the glide path, 110 knots down the LPV glide path. We do have LPV minimums. We should get them anyway, uh, down to 377, which are set. The missed approach is a climb straight out a long way out to Soklo, but we're going to do a full stop. We'll be exiting to the right. Here's the turn, and we've started the descent now. Next altitude is uh, only 4,300, so we're just about there. Should level off to cross Eagle. At, no correction, we're going to go down to 35 for Eagle. We'll continue this descent, monitoring the power here. We have the airport in sight out there. RV3, Romeo Victor Radar, services terminated, uh, squad right CFR, please change group. Flight path is now standing by. Command the 46 Fox, our radar services terminated, squad CFR, please change group. Switching over, 46 Fox, but thanks for your help. Runway 29, got it. Got a traffic warrior, 90, Quebec, entering the left down, run for 291, number 3. Got it. Gadget traffic, Bonanza, 46 Fox, that's about 1-1 one, one miles northeast, uh, correction, east of the airport. We're flying the RNAV-29 approach to a full stop. We'll be looking for traffic. Gadget. Here comes a Pixie. Power coming back. I bring the mixture in. Gadget, traffic 531 November Delta, entering left downwind, runway 29, Skagit. Skagit traffic, Bonanza 46 Fox Trust, now 8 mile final, runway 29, full stop. Skagit, we'll look for traffic. Here comes the glide path in, speed checks, gear coming down, taxi light on. Three green. Skagit traffic, Skyline 61, 46 off of final 2 niner, touch and go, Skagit. Skagit traffic 348, heat clear of 29, thanks for your help, appreciate it. Get everything back in the groove Skagit here. traffic, Cessna 1704 Delta, 10 miles to the east, uh, maneuvering uh, to the north for the 45 to 29, Skagit. Okay, we've got three green approach flaps, mixtures rich, prop Skagit traffic, warrior 9 0 left base, 290, touch and go, Skagit. Crosswind out of the north. Approach altitude is 4,000. Skagit traffic, Bonanza 46 Foxwood, now 6 mile final runway 29, full stop Skagit. Skagit traffic, we are 9 0 back short final 2 minor, touch and go, Skagit. Slow down just a little bit more. Three green approach flaps.
Skagit traffic, 5 through on November Delta, turning left, base runway 29, Skagit. Skagit traffic, Bonanza 46, Fox Trust, now 5 mile final, runway 29, full stop, Skagit. Slow down, do this a little bit more. Traffic Bonanza 46 Fox Trots. Now about a three and a half mile final, we have the left base traffic in sight. Skagit. Left downwind departure to the southeast. Skagit. Okay, we're going to disconnect the autopilot, slow things down a little bit here. Full flap, stealth to slow down. And Skagit Traffic Bonanza 46 Fox Trots. Three mile final runway 29, we have the left base traffic in sight. Skagit. Autopilot flight director, the Gadget traffic, turning final runway 5 through the November Delta, turning final runway 29, Gadget. Slow it down. Gadget traffic, Bonanza 46, Fox Trots, now 5 mile final runway 2810, over the old Pixie intersection, bound on the GPS, 29 approach. Mile final runway 29, follow and assist on short final runway 29, full stop. On schedule. Uh, Sketch traffic quarter, Nags Air Quebec, uh, midfield left downwind. Uh, 29, we're just going to make a right 360 and then join that left downwind again. Okay, we're going to get 2810 kilo. We're on the uh, east side of Mount Vernon, inbound on the TPS 29 approach, about a five miles. Forward, ready to land. Schedule traffic, 5 through November Delta on the upland runway 29, Schedule. Schedule traffic, Bonanza 46, Fox Trot, short final runway 29, or full stop, Schedule. Traffic 5 through on November Delta departing runway 29 to the northeast. Gadget. Sketch traffic, Warrior 90 Quebec, midfield, left downwind 29, touch and go. Sketch it. Sketch the traffic, uh, Skywagon 2810 Kilo, all about 3 mile final now, landing 29, just inside of uh, the interstate. Sketch the traffic, Bonanza 46 Fox, what's clear, runway 29 or an Alpha 3. Skywagon 2810 Kilo, we're crossing the river, final 2-9, we'll just touch and go. Skywagon 